get that on, out of my uh, inventory. Oh, shit. He's right up, uh, above me. right outside the door. That's up the stairs. If only I could draw those liquors over here without alerting shithead. That's right outside the door! He is literally right outside the fucking door. Like, he was in that hallway. Oh, my God. Dead. We're going to reload. We're going to reload that because that was balls. I missed twice. It's nerves, man. So all I got to do is run out the door and they will come to me. Mm hmm? Yep. Just nudge the mic a little bit. Don't do that. All right, so that's one hit. Got one hit on him. Next grenade shot should kill the shit out of him. He's outside the door. He literally right outside the door. Going off to my left, going off to my right. I'm going to put the flame rounds back when I'm done with these liquors. He stopped in this hallway. Yeah, that's what I thought.
I'm waiting to hear his footsteps fade away. Because that means he's pretty far off. KG says fine, but Claire's posture says caution. Why do we get the feeling he's just like standing in place now? Because I didn't hear his footsteps trail off, they just stopped. There it is. That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> He's in this fucking hallway. I heard him in this hallway. Like, I heard his, like, clothes shifting. Oh, I hate you so much. Right in front of the door. I like to point out, this is yet another thing that they aped from Nemesis. The heavy footfalls. That's how you're supposed to tell where, that Nemesis was in the room. So it's not that he's in the, the same neighborhood as you constantly. It feels that way. Because what he what he's doing is he's basically patrolling throughout the entire station, but throughout the areas that are not currently loaded into memory, he is sort of fast-forwarding through them. Like, he's just sort of, like, instant transmissioning through them in instead of, like, it taking him time to, like, move. Instead of it simulating him moving through area, different areas of the police station with a timer. Like, here's how fast he typically moves, so let's put him on a timer for when he's in, like, in this area of the police station. No, instead they just have him fast forward, like, instant transmission through those areas until he gets to an area that's loaded into memory, which is the area that the player is. So that's why it always feels like he's just patrolling the neighborhood of the station you're in. He's not. But he might as well be, because of how he works. <clears throat> no. Nope. Yikes! He just completely throws me for a loop. Like, I don't know what to do with you. It's... he's annoying. 
that I have to, like, I can't play Resident Evil until you're far away. <laughs> I can't deal with this liquor until I can be confident that you're not going to walk in on me while I'm doing it. You know, fucking performance issues. Okay. In theory, that liquor should be crispy now. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Twenty three minutes to deal with one liquor. It's a good thing I cleared off a lot of space on my fucking hard drive for this guy. rounds in there. Um, heart key. On, there's only one thing behind that heart key. That diamond key door. And I do want it before I leave the police station. I know that Mr. X isn't going to go into that lockup. At least I hope he doesn't. Shit. Okay, store that for now because I think the the hard key only has one use, and it's this door. It, is, it only has one more use, and then it's useless. So I might as well just uh, get rid of that out of my inventory. Okay, go away. Claire is already covered in shit. In this hallway. Is he attracted by the sound of a door closing? I am now inspecting the glasswork. <laughs> Is it glass or plastic? It's probably plastic. There's always a chance that liquor's still there. I didn't hear it, though. Need you to go the fuck away so I can play the game, please. See, I remember I've been pinned in a save room in Resident Evil 3 once or twice by Nemesis due to his random ass nature. And uh, this is giving me bad flashbacks to that. I didn't hear him walk away. I heard him stop. So that means he's ba he was basically just sort of like standing there to fuck with you. 
fuck with he. Yeah, that's right. That's what I did. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. He's triggered immediately to this room. Jack handle. Got the dongle. Be the height of bullshit if he just instant transmission in front of me. There we go. Gimme. I'm sure he didn't hear that. MQ eleven, yes. Letter to Stars members. To my best of stars buds. How are you all hanging in that drab old station? Hanging in there against old irons? Me? I just got back from a date with a hot chick. Bet you can guess where we got up, what we got up to under her extra-large umbrella. Europe is amazing. One month is in no way enough to even scratch the surface. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. I've actually watched Let's Plays of people who were taking this at face value. Like, I, I've watched Let's Plays of, like, people who are like, What is Chris even talking about? I was like, Dude... Have you not played the first game? Have you not even played the remake of the first game? How do you not understand that this is code? Chris is telling them. Here's exactly what he's telling them. Hanging in there against Umbrella's inside man. Uh, Chris, he just got back from a date with a hot chick. Maybe, guess what we got up to under her extra large umbrella. That's basically Chris just being Chris. Like, like, Umbrella is... He's basically describing Europe is amazing one month is no way enough to even scratch the surface. He's investigating Umbrella. It's way bigger than anybody could have imagined, which, after the first game, one would think they could imagine a lot. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Uh, don't even think of coming... Of coming to join me when one make all the cute girls cry. That's Moira and Barry's daughters and such. He wants Barry there looking after them. Uh, so you just leave the babes to me. I'm assuming the chicks at this point mean either informants or more umbrella abominations. Uh, Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. That's pretty much face value. Yeah, like... like Chris. Even Claire... Even Claire is like, this is obvious. Th like, this isn't we This is weird. Give me that. I need it. And like a dumbass, I didn't bring the diamond key. I ran straight here. So. I need to get back to that save room. Fortunately, the coast is now clear, more or less. Mechanic jack handle. A handle for a mechanic jack? Um, oh, God. Irons. Irons is next, isn't it? After I get this fuse. Oh, God. 
And I am fresh out of anti-Mr. Rex grenades. Um, let's see. Back to the shower room. Downstairs. That's the closest save room. Yep, the dark room. All right. Let's do it. Throw the gunpowder, MQ-11, I think that's going to have to wait until later, because I don't know if I can get into, I, I'm pretty sure I cannot get into that again right now. Store that because I'm not going to need it for a while. Uh, the MQ11 might be useful for legging zombies. Do I have any parts for the MQ11? No, no, I don't. Okay. Roll film. Oh, it's about. Get that out of my inventory. Develop it. Okay. Wooden boards. So I need the large gear. I need the diamond key. Um, don't need this right now. Develop the film. Okay. Two full heels, the MQ-11, a grenade launcher. I'm pretty good in terms of armament right now. I should just put away the grenade launcher because it's not going to do me any good. Outside the door. Trying to gauge where you, what level he's on. He's above me. It would be really nice if I could goad him into attacking shit. <laughs> ah! 
Is he in here? No. He was above me. Which means that I gotta fucking run. Discard that. Alright. I'll take my mind off this shit for now. Okay, one. Ooh, one. One, six. One, six, three. Now. Okay. One, six, five, three. No. One, six, Seven, three. Why do I keep doing that? One, six, five, seven, two, uh, four. Yes, eight, three. This seems really elaborate. Please don't come in here. He does. Excuse me. I'm in here. Motherfucker. It really does help knowing what rooms he can't enter. And now they know he can enter that room. Scare that shit out of me. I think there's something on the other side I can get as well. Um, yeah, 103. Nice. Because I definitely want that inventory pouch. Give me that. Yeah, give me that inventory space. There's no way he can know I'm in this room. Shit. He's ripping open doors and just looking inside. Claire doesn't look okay. Okay, 
I just have this mental image of Mr. X stomping around like he's throwing a temper tantrum whenever he loses sight of Leon or Claire. He's in that hallway. He's just standing around now. Shit. That sounded close. So, while I'm here, safety pause room, get to the save room, and then the next, next objective is the library. We've cleaned out most of the rooms we've been in, except for the stupid morgue. There's one more item left in here to get. Yeah, I ain't going back to that morgue. Whatever is in there is staying there. All right. What? What? Huh? Excuse me? Oh shit. Ah, I was trying to duck past him. Throw a punch, motherfucker! Claire, could you, like, run faster, please? problems so like these guys like here's them walking and here's them running it doesn't feel like it's that big a difference 